I'm Dr. Jack Gilbert, and this is a dog. In the Home Microbiome Project, we are really interested in the dynamic interaction between the bacteria living inside our body and the bacteria living inside the home. And what we found was that when we introduced pets into that environment, especially dogs, we saw that the bacterial diversity and the number of bacteria increased in the home. In fact, those dogs brought the outdoor bacteria indoors. That may sound like a bad thing, but we think it's actually a good thing. Researchers have recently found that by culturing lactobacillus bacteria from dogs and giving them to mice, they can significantly reduce the likelihood of that mouse developing asthma. So bacteria may be the reason why children growing up with dogs have a significantly reduced likelihood of developing asthma and allergies. Oh, yeah, look, Bobo, I got another dog. In a study at the University of Colorado, they looked at 160 couples from around the United States. 80 of those couples had dogs and 80 didn't. What they found was that the couples with dogs shared more of the bacteria living inside their body. We think that the dogs were acting as a conduit, shaping the microbial similarity of those couples. And we think this is beneficial for their health. While the research is still early. <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. Hello. Come on, bugger off. While the research is in its early days, the evidence we do have compelled me to come and rescue Captain Bo Diggly here. He's been living with our family now for two years and giving us some of those good healthy bacteria. Come on big fella. <laughs>